Think back on a day in your life when you realized from this day on things will be different. It's kind of hard to say goodbye. The way you see the world, the way you see yourself, all of it. Just say hello. Facing homelessness tour. Wait a minute, are you going on this tour as well? That day for Jen and her daughter Rory. No way. Was this day four months ago. Feel grateful that I'm helping other people. Oh my God. We were with them as they said goodbye. Okay. Well, sorry, I didn't know that was right there. To friends Give my kiss. and family. It's gonna be good. As they began their cross-country journey. Pretty amazing. Uh, Jennifer and her daughter are heading across the country getting people to just say hello to people that are homeless. Okay, let's go. First stop, Spokane. Goodbye, everyone. It's a very brave thing she's doing. She's going to make some like 26 stops uh, in various cities throughout the country. We're going to try to get 10,000 people to just say hello, which is uh, the number of people who are currently homeless in King County. I'm just really glad that we did it. And we actually made it out. They made it out. And they made it back. Yep, we're, we're officially home. Home was the van Jen's driving. They lived in the van four months. And in those four months, we've gone to 30 states and driven about 14,000 miles. Just one hour of driving to go before they get to mom's house in Monroe. Gotta ask, sick of driving? Am I sick of driving? You know, um, so that was the other stat was uh, we have listened to about 210 hours of Harry Potter. <laughs> um, we're, we're an hour away from finishing the last book, like the seventh book. Fact is, she could write a book about their experiences. This was in a park in um, Boston. About the people they met. I met Flora on the streets of New York City. About the lives they touched. You remember Donald? Mm -hmm. That was one of like the sweetest things that I saw you do the whole trip was decide you were going to try and give them all the change that you had from your allowance money. The giving went both ways. See what Rory's holding? It's a friendship bracelet Christine gave her. Christine is homeless in Baltimore. As Rory bounced away with it, Christine watched her leave and quietly said, she deserves to have a material thing to remember this experience by. You're doing a really, really good thing here. And that was, I think, the moment that I realized um, like how generous and community-centered everyone who is without a home is because they have to be. Here we go. Sweet, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And so what happens is someone who has nothing will be the first person to give you anything. You're going to hand out water? They were always offering her food. <laughs> like, I mean, there's Thank two you. for you and two for your wife. It always it. kind of blew my mind because, you know, like that might be the only meal that someone gets that day and they're trying to give Rory their cookies. People who don't have a lot have a deep understanding of this idea that giving is such a beautiful thing. <laughs> that like it really creates okay. such happiness to be able to give. Um, and that in itself is a gift. One of my favorite pictures that I took the entire trip, um, because it's just so real. Um, Bridget cried a lot while we talked to her. This single mom wrote about Bridget and the homeless people they met in their Just Say Hello Tour Facebook page. I knelt down beside her and told her I didn't have much to offer that day, but I wanted to offer a hug. As we embraced, Bridget completely broke down, sobbing into my shoulder. It broke my heart, but it also felt like such a gift to give this woman a literal shoulder to cry on for a moment. Tears. So many tears. Joey really, like, stayed in my heart. That's Joey in Spokane. He let Rory play with his two dogs. And this is my wife. This is my house. And she sells flowers. He showed us where he sleeps at night with his disabled wife. Oh, I know, I know. She sells flowers at the corner, trying, so we don't beg for money. We're trying to work for it. You know? The hellos led to conversations. Jay, how long have you been homeless? The conversations led to precious moments. Like the one with Mateo. He's homeless in Boulder, Colorado. And he sat there and played several songs for us, singing along. We sat in a park. Um, and everyone was just kind of passing by. 
And it was so beautiful. So many moments. What is your name? My name is Lee Butcher. We met Lee when Jen met Lee. She called him the great connector. Lee, like, knew everyone. And he wanted you to know he knew everyone. (laughs) And Jen wanted us to know the Just Say Hello tour trip took its toll on her daughter, Rory. It started to get really hard to get her to do any outreach. Um, She started to just kind of get really sullen and angry and stubborn. Did not want to do this anymore. Um... And as we moved across the country, it was getting worse. It took a long time for me to figure out what was happening. Um, And what I finally figured out was that she developed this fear around us becoming homeless. She reassured Rory that once they returned, she would provide for her like she always has. Once we were able to talk about the fear, she was able to kind of put it to rest. Jen and Rory returned on a rainy night. Rory, sit down, please. With stories to share about the people they met, all those people they said hello to, whose lives they touched. John Sharifi, King 5 News.